faithful to what God has called us to, and that is the only way that we can see great gospel and faith to be right in the center. Let me pour it out. So I gave you an introductory message. The first thing is kind of like the groundwork. You have to clean up a few big things. He shares with you about how do you sprinkle salt into your family, whether it's your biological family, whether it's your birth family. How can you be salt? He did that those situations. We also talked about not only our biological situation, we talked about our work families. Some of you are still easily employed, and you have a family of people that you are connected with and work on the salt. So you have children or grandchildren who are involved in sports and school activities. There's that kind of school and team environment that you can spring your salt in. There's a few things talked about what it is to spring your salt in your neighborhood's lives. And today, as we wrap up, we're going to take it to its farthest reach. We're going to talk today about what does it mean to reach out with the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world. What does it mean to reach all the way around the world? Now, whether you realize or not, in this next picture, this is a little bit of what our life is like. We live in a shrinking world. Our world is every day shrinking in some capacity. Let me talk about the terms of travel. If you were alive in 1848 and you wanted to sail from the United States to Europe, your only option was by sailboat. That journey would take you approximately 47 to 48 days. Today, if you went to the East Coast and you boarded a cruise ship and you wanted to sail to Europe, it would take you 14 days. That world is shrinking. When people so flocked back in the 1930s, that's the era of the speed of the Goodyear Blimp, but things like the Hindenburg would be able to fly from the Spoldy to the United States in about 43 hours. Today, as you report a jet plane, you can fly from the East Coast to Europe in approximately seven. If you were fortunate enough to obtain the seats on the Concorde back in the 80s, that means you can fly in about 300 years. That world is shrinking. We can talk about speaking of all the joys of technology. Television, our cell phones, the internet, has been crawled at our fingertips through the distance of two strokes.